Have you ever had an aha moment? The, uh, a time when you say, oh my God, I didn't know that. That makes so much sense to me now, and now I know what to do. This is real important in investing. I think the first one I had was after I read uh, Amy Webb's The Big Nine, and she explained to me big data, and she explained to me how data was controlled by basically nine companies, and how artificial intelligence was going to affect those companies in the future. And that was my aha, and it basically built the st- my strategy for investing in those companies that control data. Then I had another one when I read this book, uh, Lifespan by David Sinclair, which then led me to this book, The uh, Code Breaker by Walter Isaacson, and that put me on the path of genome sequencing and genome editing, and that was my aha moment. Well, I had another one just today, and Homer brought it to me. I've mentioned Homer before. When I first started this channel, Homer was one of the first people who communicated with me, who became a part of my tribe. And uh, Homer, basically, I've never spoken to him, but from his communications. I am of the belief that Homer lives in southern Georgia, as he once said to me, at the end of a dirt road. And he spends a lot of time uh, researching and on YouTube. And Homer sent me a uh, copy of a video this morning that I shut off um, Squawk Box and Lit, what, uh, opened up the video and watched it on the, my phone, and I said, aha, uh-huh. I didn't know that. This is so important. I need to share it with my viewers, particularly my tribe, because this is a stock that none of us own because we didn't know this. Let me get to it right after I share with you, I am not your financial advisor. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, we know, and, and it's being put in front of us more and more, that our world is dependent upon semiconductor chips. And the three largest manufacturers of those chips is Intel, Samsung, and TSMC. TSMC being Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, I guess. And and they're the largest. Uh, And China wants to take them over. So we know that. But have you ever asked yourself the question, Who makes the machines that makes those chips? I never, I assumed that Intel, TSMC, and Samsung made those chips. I was wrong. No, uh, ASML makes those chips. That's Advanced Semiconductor Materials uh, Lithography. Never heard of them. They're a... They're a Netherlands company, and they are the only manufacturer of these machines that make the chips that run everything in our world. That's right. They're the only manufacturer. And Homer sent me, here's here's a a thumbnail of the video he sent me. It was put out by uh, CNBC. Uh, just the other day. It's had 219,000 views. So I implore you to go to the link below the description and go watch this video. It's it's about an 18-minute video, and you will, like me, say, aha, I didn't know that. 
And I had never heard of this company that makes these $200 million machines that are advancing in having new models come out at $300 million. And they have more orders for them than they can meet. They're, they own a monopoly on the machines that make the chips that run our world. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that. I do now. And I then said, I need to understand this stock. So what was the first thing I did? The first thing I always do when I want to learn something more about a stock, I go to Seeking Alpha. If you are not subscribed to Seeking Alpha, again, go into the... Um, the, the, under the description, and you will get a, um, a link to Seeking Alpha where you can get free access to some of the information that I'm going to show you right now on ASML, the most important stock that you currently don't own. Watch this. The first thing I did after watching the video was go to my Seeking Alpha page and look up uh, SML to get their take on it. And what I'm looking here for is differing opinions. Uh, the first thing I look at is um, over the last year, it's showing that it's up about 18%. Uh, but if I look at year to date, I see it's down about 14%. And as I read the stories, I, I come to understand why it is down that. But the first, then the next thing I look at is its market cap of uh, $272 billion. And my eyes come over here to the valuation and it gets a rating of F. And what that is, is its P-E ratio is substantially higher than other uh, companies in, in, the, in the space. And I recognize that that is, that's a numeric number. It, it, it is just a comparison. It really, it doesn't have any competition as we s will see in the video. It in fact is uh, in a category of itself. It is the only supplier of these chips. So its valuation has nothing to do with the valuation of other companies. So I, I disregard that completely. Um, then what I wanted to do was uh, get opinions. And, and I was pleased to see here on uh, March the 25th, we have an article that was written uh, on March the 22nd, another one on March the 21st, and another one on March the, the 19th. One of them is basically hold, the other two are buys. I went through and read the articles and basically uh, Robert here is saying he's not, he's not real up on it because of he feels there's some supply chain problems. And as you read the article, you recognize there are. There are some substances that are made um, pretty heavily in Ukraine that could have some difficulty um, getting access to as a result of the, the Russian-Ukraine war. Uh, he pretty much is using his hold, ba basing his opinions on short-term um, problems that they may be facing. He also highlights that they had a, 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 f a fire in their Berlin plant um, recently, which made production difficult. The next thing I then did, which I think, again, uh, is a benefit of Seeking Alpha, is I'm able to go to a January 19th uh, call when uh, the CEO, Peter Winnick, uh, reported on fourth quarter um, earnings plus the outlook for the coming year. And what, what my takeaway on that was that ASML is in a position that they can sell everything that they make. Um, they are the only person in their category. Uh, their problem, again, is supply chain and keeping up with demand. Their numbers get a little squirrely because 
they, they have some elements called fast delivery, and that is their, their primary uh, customers are saying, we need this now. And so what they do is they do some of the, they, they don't do some of the normal testing that they do in their plant, and they actually ship the parts uh, and, and, re and, and assemble the machines in their customers' uh, plants to get it there quicker, and then they do the testing on site. As a result of that, uh, their, their arrangement is they don't collect um, the money as rapidly as they would if they did all the testing in-house. So there's some, so, some numbers, uh, problems or issues there. But what I keep coming back to is this is a company that supplies the three largest uh, producers of semiconductors with the product they need to fill the demand, the, the extremely growing demand for semiconductors, and they are, they're the only people who do it. And that, in fact, they, they not only make money selling these $200 million machines, uh, but they also sell them upgrades in software. So, so it's, not, it's, it's one of those situations that I like, that I sell you the product for a price, and then I continue to upgrade that product, and you keep paying me a reoccurring income. It, and, and then I come back to, um, from what I understand, there's nobody that's anywhere close to competing with these companies and with with ASML, and even on top of that, there is a movement within the the, the Western Hemisphere to make sure that China doesn't get into this. So uh, this just looks like a no-brainer to me. The question then I have is, what is my entry point? And what I'm going to do is rely on Wes. And this is a part of where I'm taking this channel, where it's not all about Kerry and his interpretation, but it's bringing other heads together that have better knowledge. And then I'm going to also depend upon uh, Drew to search our other gurus who have uh, access to more research and more information and find out if they have uh, some insights that maybe I don't have. So I'm going to bring together through our Discord and our premium Discord, not only my knowledge, uh, Homer gave this to me, that's the knowledge of the tribe. I then take it and look at it. I then send it to Drew and say, Drew, look into our gurus and find out if there's some additional information that they have and projections of their research. And then Wes and I are going to sit down and do a private video for our premium Discord members uh, as to where is the entry point here. Uh, is, is there something that he sees in the charts that gives him some insight that I don't have that we can share with our tribe? So that's kind of where this is. And I think it's wonderful that the, all the elements of the tribe are coming here together to feed our, our group, the tribe, uh, the discord, is this, not, on, not is this a good investment, but beyond that, what does the rest of the world think of it and where is our entry point? Let's talk about that a little bit more. Okay, this is enlightening. But this is what I am so excited about because this is where I'm taking this channel, Best of Us Investors. I want to go through the process so that you totally understand what's happening, what's going to happen, and how you might be able to benefit from it. So the process started that I have this tribe. We meet at our Discord. We have a Friday meeting every Friday at 3 p.m. on Zoom, and we discuss things in the future. But the process started this morning when Homer, a member of the tribe, sent me a video.
I reviewed the video and I liked it. I decided I need to share that video, so I created this video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm contacting Drew. Drew is the person who runs my Discord and is my analyst who researches stocks to help me make good investment decisions. He and I have paid for some gurus, that the, the names that you know as the people who pledge that they can make you millions if you'll send them $4,000 a year to get their information. We have sent them their $4,000 a year multiple times, and we I now say to Drew, go find me their information on ASML so that I have more than what I got from Seeking Alpha. Then what I will do is review that and Wes and I, Wes is my Wednesday producer of videos and he, do, he goes into technical analysis. So t Wes and I will now do a video together as we looked at Trading View, that's the chart company. It's also got a link in the description. And we will just say, okay, Let's look at the trading history, the momentum of uh, ASML, and let's find our entry point based on the momentum and then decide is there an exit point we want or is this a hold forever stock? That's the process. And what I will then do is distribute that video of Wes and I exclusively to those people who are a part of our Platinum Discord. Right now, we're, limit, uh, we're limiting to roughly 100 people because we want to, this is a brand new offering by us for our tribe members, and, and we want to get it right. We're working out the details. It'll probably take us a month, and then we'll open it up to all viewers of our uh, videos. That's the best of us investors platinum discord membership. So that's what we're doing. Why am I doing this? Because I recognize that in order for me to compete with Wall Street, I certainly can't. I have to approach it a different way. I have to bring technology to my working and then gather a group of people that feed me information that I then create a system that we all make better investment decisions by working together. That's it. That's as simple as it can be. Rather than trying to do this by ourselves, individually. Let's do it collectively. Let's pool our funds, gather the resources to make us smarter. And then, like Homer, who sits in southern Georgia at the end of a dirt road, just share. Just share. And then let the tribe make it happen. Okay? I hope this excites you as much as it excites me because as Nita and I were talking about, we've become almost antisocial. I mean, this, this uh, pandemic has shut us down, but I have you and I have a community. And now we're gonna build on that community and through the use of technology, we're gonna take it the next step. I merely am inviting you to come along. Go to Best of Us Investors um, and give me your email address and um, your name and I'll send you an invitation and you decide. Is this for you or isn't it? It doesn't matter. It really does. Talk to you again tomorrow.